we're going to talk transfers and we're going to look at whenever the transfer window may open, maybe the summer, maybe January, who knows, uh, where we can improve, uh, maybe some ideas on who we could buy, um, left field ones, um, probably some more close to home, and probably a lot of the word, uh, because we won't know who we're talking about. So, um, yeah, no, uh, looking forward to this session and uh, let's kick it off. So, we started off with goalkeepers last time, um, and I think we're pretty solid in that position. So, uh, I think this is the easiest one out of them all, really. And uh, I'd say that we don't really need to make a, a transfer. I can't really see anyone swooping in for Bentley or Mine Power or anyone like that. Uh, obviously, we've got the the young lad out on loan. Um, Max O'Leary. Max O'Leary. Um, so, you know, does he go back out on loan? Do we move Mine Power and uh, stick him in at number two, I guess, is the biggest biggest question. Well, my emperor's not going to be happy um, just bench warming, is he? for much longer surely um and then naturally that would lead to bring max o'leary in as a number two and uh, i should imagine my empire to be moved on um but that's probably going to come from the player i wouldn't necessarily want to do that uh but the player's gonna get a bit peeved off really so yeah i agree can't get in front of bentley and we're, we're quite all right with the goalies yeah my empire is 35 so Natural oh, thing to do is um, let him go and bring O'Leary back as a number two to try and challenge, maybe. Uh, but yeah, he, he seems quite good to be honest. I'd be happy with him as number two, or worst case, if Bentley went anywhere, even number one. Um, I know we've got every young kid that Ollie might know more about Jojo Woolacott. Don't really know. Yeah, Jojo Woolacott, and he's he's the, um, was he is he Shrew? No, he's not Shrew. He's Forest Woolacott. Green. But he's doing well there. I think Max O'Leary is like Shrewsbury, isn't he? And uh, yeah, yeah, I think. Max O'Leary looks looks pretty decent. I think he was thrown in on that Brentford game last yeah. season, and, and and the game after that. Oh, and yeah, he had clean he had clean sheets for the like first two or three games. He started off really well. I, I, yeah. I've got concern about him physically though, like especially under a high yeah. ball. Um, yeah. You know, he's, he's still only a small frame keeper. So uh, exactly. the shot stop in, he was incredible uh, for his few he's games. Still played, good, so, um, you know, we've got two right backs at the moment, Pereira and Hunt. I, I don't think Pereira's done enough to, to, to warrant us buying him. Uh, and Jack Hunt, for me, is at best a replacement right back. So we need a first choice right back. Yeah, um, I think we should maybe go for like a Premier League youngster that doesn't get any play, playing time because then he can be like a rising star and stuff playing for us. The problem is we can only afford a loan. And then if he did really well, it's going to be like a ridiculous amount of money to purchase him. Um, unless well, I, you did I don't it. know. I don't know what happened to um, to and Zabi, the Man U guy who was on, on loan at Villa last season. Did they buy him permanently? Has he gone back to Man U? Certainly doesn't play for them at the minute. Um, um, to and Zabi is not on loan this season anywhere. Apparently, is he at home? No, that's wrong. Edit that out. No, he's, he's <laughs> been on loan to Villa. Um, but he's not unknown at the moment. So I like the idea of us setting up some sort of like deal with like a Premier League team. Like, obviously, maybe with Chelsea, we seem to have a lot of their youngsters. I don't think it would ever hurt for us to get youngsters from a particular club on loan, even if they do really well and we don't get to uh, sign them. Then what about that that Kenny guy who played for Everton? Is he a left back or is he a right back? Because I think he's pretty good. He might even be on loan in somewhere. I think he might even be on loan in Germany or something now. But I feel like he's. Kenny, yeah, John Doe Kenny's a right back. He's on loan at the moment to Schalke. Um, for the ones from last year that sort of stood out were people who've got promoted. So Mason Holgate was on loan at West Brom. He did really well. Um, yeah. Bulldog at Sheffield United as well. Um, yeah, he's class. Yeah, well, I mean, Jack Hunt is up there and so is De Silva. Um, so other players, Ender Stevens is at Sheffield United as well. Um, George Friend. He's Middlesbrough. Yeah, like Middlesbrough, yeah, yeah. He's quite steady. I don't think he's very attacking, but he'd be a good, good player. Maybe, maybe that's an option to look abroad, further afield. Someone who's, maybe again, it's going to be a risk, isn't it? You know, we're going to get another Pereira from, um, you know, somewhere in Portugal or something. Um, it's going to be a bit of a risk. So, well, one to think about it for sure. One I think will be a big focus for for, for the club. Um, left backs, I think. Uh, Sorry, you know, we've got. Jay De Silva, Tommy Rowe can play there. Do we get, uh, is there a young left back in the academy maybe to come through uh, just to provide a little bit more cover? But 
I think it generally. We've got Zach Viner, isn't he? Right hand side. Is Zach Viner? Yeah, yeah. Viner is yeah. right back, right back or centre back. So, Good point. Zach okay. Viner so, can come in, you know? Yeah, is he, is he anywhere near first team? Do we know? Didn't we recall him from loan in January? Yeah, I don't think he was doing particularly that well, was he? Was he, was he um, was he Rotherham? He was Rotherham last year and didn't he go Plymouth this year? No. Yeah. Was it Plymouth? No, he went Plymouth first and no, then he Rotherham. Didn't go, yeah, he went Plymouth first and then Rotherham because when we watched Plymouth um, 2, Rotherham 1, he played, he played yeah. for Plymouth. He didn't really do that well at Rotherham apparently last season. But, right. mm. To be, yeah. Uh, oh. Sorry, my video okay. character. Um, I've remembered the Offensive name that said that, by the way. Danny Bath was the guy who likes my Instagram photos, weirdly. Okay. But Congratulations. Centre back, I don't think we're. Centre back and left back and goalie, I don't think we're really in, in need of them. It's just a right back, like I say. But yeah, agreed. Agreed. We need to sort the midfield out, don't we? <laughs> I, I feel like there's actually got to be one or two that go out the door uh, rather than come in. So, yeah, I, I think maybe move one or two on. Um, and I, again, I, I, I still can't find a reason for us to keep um, to keep Odada. Um, we, we're desperate for a right winger. A right winger would be something, um, something that I'd call for quite a lot. You know, I think Elias is great. Can he play right wing and whip him in with his left? Yes, but it's a bit, a bit too um, choreographed. I think sometimes the left back cottons onto that, then he'll have him in his pocket. So we do need a natural right foot winger, I think. Um, so, you know, that whole right hand side needs a bit of investment, I think. Things. There's been a few things in the papers recently or in the news saying about Masengo. A few like um, eyes from Germany looking at him um, and the like. I don't know if it's just paper talk or what, but um, even yeah. though he's not necessarily getting in our team like more in recent months, they are. He's still being looked at. Well, if someone so, offers us 20 million, he's gone, isn't he? So, you yeah. know, unfortunately, yeah, not, we're not going to turn that kind of money down. Um, we can't, the player that comes up against us um, time and time again, and he used to be amazing um, for one year in Blackburn, was Junior Hoyler. He used, he used to be, like, yeah, he had a great rapid. season in the oh, Prem. And, like, just disappeared. Cardiff, yeah, bring back. Cardiff have got a lot of city players, player, but you don't see that many people going the other way, do you? Uh, I don't know what no. that is, but... Uh, Can yeah, I just I, say... I take um, Junior Hoyler. <laughs> sorry. Um, one right midfielder we've not mentioned so far, unbelievably, is um, Marley Watkins, otherwise known as Mark. Whoa. Um, Whoa. The, 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 the forgotten him. man. How did we go a whole vlog about mentioning Mark? Uh, but, yeah, so I just, I, I couldn't go two without mentioning him. So I just, <laughs> a to... man that is six out of ten every single day. The, the, the big guy in the championship, I think, from a winging perspective, is, uh, is it easy. Eze, the guy from QPR. Uh, from, uh, Eze, um, the QPR yeah. dude. QPR, yeah. uh, uh, looks like he's on his way in the summer to someone big. Um, you know, everyone seems to be quite excited about him. Okay. I don't think necessarily we'd have the budget to go buy him, but someone like that would be absolutely no. class. I'll open it up with my dream centre midfield signing that I know is incredibly unrealistic and he's more likely to move to Real Madrid than us, but uh, Calvin Phillips for Leeds. Wow. Yeah. If, yeah. If, if he's not wow. the best player. player in the league, let alone midfielder in the league, then I don't know. Like I've he's seen him play like three or four it. times. I, I don't think he's gave the ball away. He's absolutely <laughs> nuts. I, yeah, being that first game of the like, season. Was it, first, was it first game of the season? He bossed that game, didn't he? When we lost, yeah, Hernandez. He, he bosses him. every game, but yeah, he was nuts. He's, uh, he's actually rumored to be in the. Uh, he was going to be in the England squad for the Euros. Yeah, that's if, how good he's been. <laughs> obviously, Leeds will, well, probably go up. I know they like to bottle things, but if he, if they don't, he's going somewhere huge because he's unbelievable. I don't know how old is he, like twenty four, twenty five. Probably, probably somewhere like 24. Chelsea, who absolutely love their youngsters at the moment. An outside shout for our midfield, Robert Snodgrass. Really? I'd be happy with that. I mean, like, he was good for Villa, but... He's still getting games at West Ham when he... Is it, yeah. How, how old is he? Got to be getting on now. Yeah, he's getting got on. Got to be early bit. 30s at the youngest. OK, um, we were linked with um, that defensive midfielder. Was it Ampadu, Welsh guy? Mm, yeah, he's yeah. smashing it for Red Bull Leipzig now, so we've got no chance. Did he actually yeah. play now? Because he wasn't even playing before. Um, 
He was playing in the Champions League, I think, against Tottenham. Mm. Um, yeah, on midfielders, um, I think he just moved to West Ham. Jared Bowen. Yeah, he was good. Oh, yeah, he's class as well. He's going to the Premier League. Oh, yeah, he's yeah, no got no chance. What yeah. about that Josh Brownhill chap? He's quite good. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm really, I'm really good. <laughs> one name, uh, one name that we haven't spoke about, which gets mentioned with City a little bit, is uh, Bradley Dack as well. Blackburn, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, um, quality footballer actually. Remind me a bit of Tomlin um, in terms of what, sort he's of, fat. Yeah, no, not not really. That. No, <laughs> in terms of how good he is on the ball, and yeah, you know, he's not going to beat anyone necessarily down wings, but you know, quality player. And even when we uh, played them, I think last season, and we were. Uh, one nil down at half time or something. He scored a corner, I think, um, and we ended up like winning like six one. But he, you could tell he was one of the better, better players yeah. on the pitch. So is that an option? Four, four one. <laughs> yeah, four one. That was one of the weirdest days of my life. That was. But yeah, we won't go into that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Dak got some stats on Dak. Um, Twenty six now. Um, he's got he's a midfielder, um, but he's got forty two goals in one hundred and six games. At Blackburn, so in the championship. So that's like that's like Frank Lampard in it of the championship. So when he's class and he's young, so we, there is a chance. I think he's already on the radar of some real, real big clubs. But um, Georgie Hadji's son is up at Rangers and he's absolutely tearing it apart. Uh, I don't know if anyone's watched him in the Europa League and stuff. He's been absolutely class. He's a sort of a striker come right winger. He's he's absolutely insane. So. Someone like that, maybe from Scotland um, or a, a league like that, where you know they've been banging in goals, they've looked like a class above everybody else, but maybe not quite uh, on the radar of Borussia Dortmund and Real Madrid yet. Mm-hmm. You remember, remember only about four seasons ago, Tavernier, he played, he's got Rangers, isn't yeah. he? Yeah, captain. Uh, he's, yeah. Good for, he's, he's got loads of assists up there. I think uh, get Joe on it, but I want to say he's towards the top of the assists in the SPL. I, you know, he'd be class for us now on the right-hand side, surely. Yeah, probably would. No, there's been a transfer window spoken about and we haven't mentioned Albert Adoma, so... Oh, God. I mean, oh, there God. we go. Right right wing, fixed, sorted. He'd be cooking the burgers he'd at half-time. Anyway. God, he's incredible. We used to like him, didn't we? Albert Adoma. Um, oh, I adored the guy. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's all going to rely on if we sign a Fobe, like because yeah. he's, he's on loan, and God knows what sort of price he'd be. Um, but I'd, I'd, I'd sign him if it's in our budget, whatever. And then we've got three decent strikers. Yeah. But then, and then the thing is, one of them's going to be pretty unhappy. Mm. So, yeah. um, there is another striker who plays for Watford, I think, and he's not getting a game. So, um, I think he's called Andre Gray. I think. Cool. Andre Thanks. Gray. Absolute That'd class. Don't yeah. think we need it more. Obviously, you can say no, but yeah. And and he's going out with one of the girls from Little Mix. So, you know, I'm all uh. up for that. Okay. <laughs> well, we've covered transfers. Um, I think that's uh, obviously a big proportion. We don't know when the transfer window is going to be, so we have to just sort of play this one out a little bit. I'd like to personally, not quite a song, but just a sort of individual shout out to uh, the Johnson guy at the back yes. of the S23, oh, yes. 24. Oh, um, Johnson! Johnson! <laughs> More subs, you see word. Um, he also Listen, guy, with... if you're watching, please subscribe. Yeah, it's called yeah, Damien, please. I believe. Johnson. Yeah, he's been, he's been outed on Facebook, oh, hasn't he? We know who yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's uh, yeah, he's uh, like a good lad. He, he, he likes... Yeah. He likes the expletives. Uh, he comes up with some absolute classics, though. He called um, a Blackburn hot pot and then a few expletives. Um, he called a, a Reading goalkeeper a Badger star. Oh, yeah. Star, which is uh, <laughs> quite nice. That's pop. Uh, it's, it's a great one. Maybe we can write in the comments and start out. But, wow, what a guy. It can yeah. be annoying, but, yeah. It can Keep be annoying. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, love that, love that. There's, there's, there's definitely a few sort of pseudo celebrity fans that we've got, especially in that safe stand. There's a few that, that you see every time. I can 54 if you're watching. Oh, 52. I don't know, debate over the number, but he's there anyway. One of them.